there everyone! It's Katie from the Everhart Museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania, here for Museum Adventure Week Art Week for the grades K through 2nd. Uh, this week we're going to specialize in a lot of different print making. And so for lesson number one, you should have read or listened to your story about Brave Hiroto. Uh, and from that story, I want you to think of a time that you had to be brave. Uh, it could have been standing up for somebody, standing up for yourself, or doing a brave act in some way. What I want you to do is draw a picture on this page. Show what you did to be brave and how people reacted. There are two questions at the bottom for you to answer. Tell about the time you had to be brave like Hiroto. And number two, in what ways do you have to show bravery this week for Art Week? So think about those two answers while you're drawing a picture, and in your kit you also have some crayons to add color. There's one extra lesson I want you to think about after you finish that, so if you want to pause this while you draw your bravery picture, go for it. After you're done with your bravery picture, any time during this week, or maybe at least before our gotaku or jiataku print, uh, you want to grab your blank piece of paper, and all I did was I took one of my crayons, a darker color works better, I peeled off the wrapper and broke it in half just to make it a little bit smaller. I have one of my shoes, and I'm going to hold it so that the texture side, the bumpy side, faces up. And even with my big feet, it's still going to fit on one piece of paper. So I'm going to use the side of my crayon and rub to find the texture of my shoe. And I don't want to show you yet because it's pretty magical what happens when you do a texture rubbing of your shoe. Now this is kind of a print. We're pressing into our paper and our shoe to get an image to come through. But we're going to do a lot of different kinds of prints this week. So this print is just to get us started and to use our imagination a little bit. Because once you have rubbed your whole shoe, you want to hold your knees together really tight to hold your shoe in place. You want to hold your paper really still so it doesn't slip and slide all over the place. And you want to hold your crayon really still so it goes nice and dark. And you get the texture of your shoe. It's pretty cool. So my challenge to you is to make this regular old shoe into a fish. Because Hiroto and his grandfather, when they went fishing, they discovered that to show how big their fish ended up being, to print it on a piece of fabric. So it's just a silly way to get a fish ready to go, but transform it into a fish of your choice using your crayons and all the other crayons in your container. I hope you had fun with day number one. I'll see you later this week for days two through five.